appearance. Don't and that is not down. the only health warning you need to know about because there's a new alert out there from the nosy perverts at the CDC who tweeted, we say it because people do it, don't wash or reuse hashtag condoms. That's right. Just breathe deeply. Evidently, evidently, is it, is it 3%? 3%, according to the CDC, 3% of condom users wash and reuse the Jimmy hat. It makes sense. What girl wouldn't be impressed to find their date with a drawer full of clean, neatly folded condoms? Ooh, ooh, sorry, babe. They just came out of the dryer. Uh, Want to help me fold them? Mmm, still warm. Here, I'll do the whites, you do the colors. <laughs> now, <laughs> instead of washing them, the CDC suggests using a fresh one for each hashtag sex act. <laughs> Stop it with the hashtags. No one is searching for the hashtag sex. There is already a quick way to find sex on the internet, okay? You go on the internet, The CDC is just as shocked as the rest of us that this is a thing, so they released another statement today. We can't believe we have to say this, but please also don't reuse your catheters, mouthwash, and coffins. <laughs> Speaking of not doing certain things with condoms, there's also some big Catholic church news. Pope Francis just declared the death penalty is unacceptable in all cases. Yeah. I am completely in favor of this, but I gotta say, the New Testament would be less moving if Jesus just got 25 to life with the possibility of parole for our sins. <laughs> Francis believes execution is cruel because it's an attack on the inviolability and dignity of the person. Also, it kills them. <laughs> but there it is. It's settled. The Pope is God's representative on earth. So, I'm guessing this one came straight from the big man upstairs. Oh, not necessarily, Stephen. Oh, hey, everybody, it's God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's me, the deity in the dome, the creator in the theater. So, uh, Lord, how, how do you feel about the Pope condemning the death penalty? Um, I think it's great, you know, infinite mercy and all. Uh, my only question is, uh, is this retroactive? W what do you mean? Well, uh, I don't know if you've read my book, but uh, I've got anger issues. <laughs> See, uh, I turned this one guy's wife into a pillar of salt. But what choice did I have? She turned around. Well, yeah, yeah, I, I heard about that one. Yeah, you didn't tell the cops, did you? Snitches get stitches. Oh, that's from Deuteronomy, by the way. And, uh, you know, that's not all. I once flooded the whole earth and wiped out almost everybody. It's like my tattoo says, Stephen. Kill them all and let me sort them out. I, it's a nice tattoo. I kind of thought you would have a more cut bicep than that. Yeah, I really need to hit the Bowflex. Wait, you, you still use Bowflex? Yeah, on the days I'm not doing Thai bow. So, so, Lord Billy Blanks, he's a great yeah, trainer. I use so, his name when I check into hotels. So, <laughs> you check into hotels as Billy Blanks? Yeah, you know, I don't want, I don't want to you know, cause too much of a stir. So, how do you feel about this new rule, Lord? Well, here's the thing. Uh, technically, I've killed everyone that's ever died. I was just about to whack out the world's oldest woman. She's getting cocky. Well, wh why do you kill everyone? Oh, it's all part of my plan. What's the plan? I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. The Lord, everybody. We'll be right back. We've got a great show tonight.